Hi everyone, it's Katie here. This video will explain how to use the icons in Moodle to edit your site. Once you're in your Moodle site, click the Turn Editing On button in the upper right hand corner and Moodle will switch to its build mode. As a result, you will see sets of little icons appear on your site. These icons are the key to editing your content. You will notice that there are sets of icons for each topic as well as for each individual activity or resource that you have added on your site. I'll go through each one of the icons now. The gray arrow indents the link to the activity or resource like so. This feature allows you to organize your content and make it more obvious which elements on your site go together. For example, if you share your lecture notes in Moodle and would like students to participate in a related discussion or write a learning diary, you could indent the links to the activities right below the link to the lecture notes. The blue arrow allows you to move an activity, resource, or topic to another location on your site. You can move items also from one topic to another. When you click on the blue arrow icon, a larger blue arrow will appear in every location where you can move the item. Just click on the one that marks the space where you would like your item to go. You can also move entire sections in this way. This pencil icon allows you to edit the title of an item. The paper and pencil icon allows you to edit the settings of an activity, resource, or topic. It will take you back to the view that you saw when you first added this activity or resource. If you need to change any of the settings, this is how you do it. Just remember to click on Save Changes before exiting the view. The two pieces of paper will duplicate a resource or activity quickly and easily without the need to go through the Add an Activity or Resource again. Just click Continue and return to site. The red X will delete the activity, resource, or topic altogether. Once you click on it, you will be asked to confirm your choice. Make sure you've thought about it, as once you've deleted an item in Moodle, you'll have to add it again from an Add an Activity or Resource menus. The Eye icon is a particularly useful one. It allows you to hide and reveal either a full topic or an individual activity or resource. Once you click on the eye, it closes and turns gray, indicating that the item has now been hidden. In student view, you can't see the hidden item at all. To reveal it again, click on the eye to open it. This feature gives you the privacy to continue editing certain elements even if it's otherwise open for students. One thing to keep in mind is that if you have hidden an entire topic, you won't be able to reveal individual items in it. The final icon is the light bulb, which allows you to highlight any one of the topics. You can use this feature to draw a student's attention to the current topic. If you don't see this icon on your Moodle site, you are probably working with a weekly or grid format, as these don't have the light bulb tool. However, in weekly format, the current week is always automatically highlighted. I hope this video has been helpful in explaining the different Moodle icons. Thank you for watching.